Hey everyone, it's Rami, and today I want to talk about an old game I played when I was a little kid. It's an old obscure game, not many people know about it. If you played a bunch of DOS games back in the day, you might know about it. Uh, it's called Skyroads. It's like a racer, puzzle, platformer kind of thing. So this game was made by an Estonian company called Blue Moon Interactive. Turn that up a bit. Oh, this music is great. This is the shareware version. The one I had when I was a little kid. These are the original files I played. Uh, right now I'm using my old 486. I like to play on the real hardware, I don't know, it's just because I'm weird like that. And yeah, this is actually the original computer I had when I was a kid. Old hard drive and everything. Anyway, go to road one up here. This is Skyroads. It's just a little platformer thing. And there are different colored tiles which indicate the different things. Like this is a refill tile, the blue one. And this one is a is like a fire one. It'll kill you if you jump on it. There's other ones like the light green which speeds you up, dark green which slows you down. Um, what else is there? There's gray ones which are slippery. That's about it, I think. The exit is just like this. It's an it's a tunnel at the very end. You go through it and it says road completed. It's a great game, and I really think it's underrated. Not many people talk about it these days, but I really love it, and I just wanted to show you a little bit of it today. This level was like, when I first beat this, I was... I felt good, because this is a harder one. Ah, crap. There's a way, there's a little trick to do. Um, if your car is above, if you have a bounce like this, you can actually jump mid-bounce if your car is above, like, flat surface. So you can you might be able to see it here. Like that. See that? You can jump mid bounce if your car is above uh, a surface. But if you're above uh, nothing, then you can't do that. And uh, it's it's actually like something they used in the game, like the actual last level of Skyroads. You have to master that jump or else you won't be able to beat that last level. I have a video of me beating the last level of Skyroads on YouTube, on this channel, which I made years and years and years ago. Way, way, way back. I remember doing that. I was in, like, Syria, or on the way to Syria, in the bus, with my little laptop, with DOSBox. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting the flow of this level. It's not hard. It's actually very easy. But when I was a kid, it was hard for me. There we go. And you can slam into the, the thing and die at the end. Alright, we're in the full version now. I completed this entire game. It took me uh, many, many years to, to beat every one of these levels. This was the one that just broke me. Road 2, Dru Druidia. Oh my gosh, that's the worst one of them all. I guess I'll show you why it's so damn bad. Look at this, look at this, look at this! What the shit are you supposed to do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about the clicking, I've got a... Uh, Northgate Omni key keyboard I'm using here and it's got some loud keys. I know, not everyone likes loud keyboards, but as you can see, this level is just bullshit. <laughs> it took me a, a billion tries, and more than a decade. Okay, that's what you want to do? Ugh, whatever, it sucks. I don't like this level, and it's giving me PTSD just looking at it. <laughs> this is the last level right here. It's, I think this is easier than Road 2. Here's that jump I was talking about. Oh, it was right there though, like, you know? Give it a few more tries, maybe. 
I've beaten this a lot of times. It's it's hard, but I've. There we go. Ah, and you had to do it again there. But yeah, it's like, it's crazy. This music is pretty damn dreamy though, I love it. Of course you can't really just listen to it and chill. I mean you can if you just, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I just wanted to sit on a, on a tile. I've got a real OPL3 Sound Blaster card in here, so I, li I like to have the real chip, the real Yamaha chip, because these, the ad-lib music and the OPL3 music is what I grew up on as a kid. Some of the first music I ever heard was generated by the OPL3, and so I just, I have an attachment to it. It's actually OPL2. Most DOS games are OPL2, but the OPL3 is backwards compatible. And the first sound card I had as a kid actually had that chip. I actually have that same exact card right here. The Media Magic ISP16. You can see right there, it's got the OPL3. I had to replace the card. I mean, I would have kept this in my computer if it worked right. Uh, it doesn't, it just the capacitors might be old, you know, uh, the sound effects are distorted, in Doom they're very, like, low, uh, high pitched, and in Wolf 3D they're very low pitched, so I just replaced it with a regular Sound Blaster, but I'm gonna fix it one of these days, and yeah, it's my first one, that's why I like that chip so much, and the uh, ad-lib music. Let's play a few more tracks, shall we? Check this one out, this one's awful, I hate this one. Look how fast your O2 runs out. You basically just have to do that. <laughs> it sucks. The bright side is you get your blue tile here, so if you want to just sit there and listen to the music, you just park and then mm, jam out to it. Because you're constantly getting refilled by that blue tile. Pretty cool. I like that music so much, man. It's, this game brings back so many good memories. It's awesome. This is the zero G level, so you can see your gravity down there over the on the bottom left of the speed and O2 fuel meter. It says gravimeter, and we're at 100, which is the lowest that the game goes. I think any lower than that, and your car might just fly off the level. <laughs> Kind of fun, I like it. This was my favorite level when I was a kid. Ah! I gotta die. There's a fuel source in there, so... You gotta make sure to hit it or else you won't make it to the end of the level. So you gotta slow down so you don't bounce over it. See, that's a really good demonstration of the... Of the thing. See, look, right here. Wait, wait. Like that, you see? The mid, the mid, the mid-air jump. When it's zero G, you can. Oh, I was trying to land on that. <laughs> One more try, and we'll beat this level. This song, by the way, is probably my favorite song in this game. There's a dude on YouTube who goes by the name Casey Thayer, who plays this on piano, and he's excellent. I highly recommend looking it up. He plays the whole soundtrack. Or, I don't think it's the whole soundtrack, I think it's just like two or three tracks, but it's really good, and this track was was in there. Alright, slow down. Perfect. That was a really good mid-bounce. Oh, yeah! This is the basically a sequel to Skyroads. It's uh, just 30 new levels with the Christmas theme to them. Yeah. 
Yeah, anyway, let's get started. These are some of my, like, earliest game levels ever. This is the the snow level of Skyroads. Some of my most nostalgic levels. I totally remember these from the old office back in the day when where my dad works. I used to play this computer on the old 486. They start you off really easy with the first two levels, but this is much harder than um, regular Skyroads. As you see, as you can see here, I still haven't beaten this one. This whole entire, almost everyone except this first one has been not cleared by me yet. And they're damn hard. Like, look at this. Look how hard this is. Like, and there's traps. Like, you don't know which one has a... Which one is missing the floor, so you just want to jump over them. So far, it's just me being bad, but I'm, I swear, these are hard. Like, these levels are not easy. <laughs> See that? Like, look, that's bullshit. It's all about trial and error. It's fun though, I think. I enjoy it. See, that one was a trap. That, the floor was missing in that one. And I, I ran into the next tile. So you go to this one. You have to go to the left one and then jump over to the right one. It's very difficult. Oh, crap. Forgot about that one. But you can see, like, the background is all Christmas themed. You got the, like, Santa hat. I'm gonna die. I knew it. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> you gotta keep refueling, you refueling yourself in this one, I guess. Oh well. Anyway, that's an example of how the game is. It's just brutal like that. I've beaten a lot of these, though. This whole left row has been beaten by me. But overall, I'm, I'm way more unfamiliar with Skyroads Christmas than classic Skyroads. It's just much harder. But since I beat regular Skyroads, I plan to do this one someday. Ah, oh, crap. So thanks for watching. This is just a quick video I wanted to make, just to discuss my memories with Skyroads and why I love it and what it means to me. The creators behind this game actually went on to do a lot more stuff that you might have heard of, like Kazaa in the 90s. And I never really knew that back in the day, but I learned that recently, and that really was, was cool, because I used Kazaa. So... Just wanted to make a quick video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Skyroads is now freeware, and you can still get the game for free on the official site of Blue Moon. I think you can also get it from dosgames.com and other online DOS games websites. So yeah, give it a try. I hope you enjoy it, and see you next time.